Hello everyone, Jasmine Siri here, and if you're looking for a solid skin routine that doesn't use a lot of products, watch here. Alright, so I'm starting off with completely clean skin. It's the end of the day. I work in fitness, so I sweat a lot, and I also live in Texas. It's been 100 plus degrees outside, so I feel dry. I feel not clean. I'm starting off with Urban Skin RX. It is a clear skin cleansing bar, three in one treatment, and I absolutely love this product. I've been having this for about a year, I'm not gonna lie, and it's only $15. You can get this at Ulta or Sephora or online, but this is absolutely amazing. It's a pore cleansing mask as well as a skin exfoliator, and it improves the appearance of blemishes and also removes excess oil from the skin. It has salicylic acid in it, and that's super important for exfoliating. It's the same ingredient used in the Paula's Choice liquid exfoliant so you're gonna get that same benefit without spending that much money and i love it so it has those two sponges that you saw all you do is you saturate the sponge with water you put a little water into the bar and you scrub you put it on your skin it feels absolutely amazing it also smells like eucalyptus leaf oil it has sulfur in it but it doesn't overpower you like it doesn't smell acidic it kind of smells a little bit medicinal and really really fresh and i really love that but that's me check it out for yourself if you like it i'm just letting you know the real um so yes i put that all over my face i also get the neck and the back of the neck it's absolutely amazing and yes i leave this on for a good three minutes you can also do this without waiting but i do recommend wiping your makeup off or anything from the day off before you use this because the sponges that we use for the soap you don't want that old bacteria staying on your sponge so i would do this on like a clean skin use a face wipe wipe your face and then use this so you can really get the full benefit so yep after that i'm just going to leave it in like i said wait a little minute i was feeling impatient i just started wiping my face off with warm water i enjoy warm water some people like cold honestly it's just whatever floats your boat right i was fighting for my life i had a lot of <laughs> soap in my eye don't do that um and yeah and my face feels absolutely clean not necessarily squeaky but i do know that i need to put moisture back into my skin but while my skin is bare i just put on a sheet mask now this is the meta heal tea tree essential mask this is my first time trying this but it is amazing i got it from an h mart if you don't know it's like an asian shopping mart shopping center they have food and all of the things absolutely love that place literally i live in austin and there's a huge one in north austin and it smells like tea tree it's so refreshing it soaked into my skin so well you'll see the results at the end but loved it absolutely 10 out of 10 this was only two dollars and 49 cents and they have so many other masks of course there's like there's a ton of different masks but tea tree I love tea tree for literally everything i it just seemed right and also all of the other ingredients are in chinese so i didn't know what was what was going on 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 that scale so i just got something that i knew would be good for my skin and yeah it felt amazing now this is where you could potentially massage your face if you wanted to but i kind of wait until this is off to get to that massage because i don't want to rip the paper even though the paper was really good quality like it didn't feel like it was going to rip i'm just super cautious because i am very heavy-handed so yes i just smooth that over my skin make sure that i'm getting all the crevices and things like that i also get the solution and i put it on different parts of my body because i'm about to shower with this on my skin now if you're not going to shower and you're doing this out i think what's a good thing to do for sheet masks is if you steam your face with the sheet mask on i don't know I don't know what it does it feels absolutely amazing this is me out of the shower already i feel like my skin is getting a little bit more color a little bit more vibrant and it's completely saturated into my skin so this is the big reveal yep did exactly what it needed to do my skin isn't super saturated with the solution because a lot of it got into my skin but whatever i have left i'm going to rub it in on my neck again um, just any 
parts that are problem areas for me like my forehead I'm getting a lot of fine lines because I'm getting older I'm almost 30 so I do a lot of massaging I do like to bring a lot of blood flow into my face because it actually makes a big difference so I'm using only my knuckles now if you have a gua sha or other tools totally use those but I think I lost mine in the process of moving and honestly it's just more practical for me to use my knuckles and use my hands to massage and flex my skin after that I go in with a biosense lip oil and serum now i've heard a lot of the girlies talk about the summer fridays lip balm and that is absolutely amazing i also have that that's for my purse that's for my bag but this one is also really good as well and it is plumping a little bit and i still feel moist without putting too much on now this this is amazing the trust rx skin mist I found this in my HEB. It was only $9.99. When I looked online, it's $52. I was like, wow, that's crazy. But it has a great pump. It has bergamot and just so many good ingredients like sandalwood, bergamot, cucumber. You have witch hazel, so it's toning my skin right now. I'm just fanning it in because my skin needed some moisture. Love it. Anyway. I am now going in with the aloe vera. Now, I got this at H Mart as well. It's only, again, $9.99. You get a lot for it. It's 99% aloe vera. The texture is a little bit more realistic to what aloe vera gel is, and I love that for me because it was only $9. Again, go to H Mart, get it off of Amazon. It's going to be there, but it feels so amazing now. A lot of people don't necessarily use aloe vera gel for their skin consistently because there's just so many other products to use, but if you stay consistent with aloe vera, it's going to do what it does. It's absolutely amazing. It evens my skin tone. I put this on my scalp as well. So you know how you can mist your scalp with water, aloe vera juice, rose water. I because it's a gel, I mix it into my hands with an oil and I massage that into my scalp and it is amazing. And because this isn't strictly for your skin, it's going to do amazing things for your scalp as well. I end off my routine with jojoba oil. If you want to add a cream after this, totally welcome to do that. But because it is so hot in Texas, I don't want to keep adding on a whole bunch of products. Remember, this is a minimal product routine you're gonna get the moisture you're gonna get all of the good vitamins and nutrients that your skin need to feel plump but you're not weighing your skin down at night and some people like that feeling that's cool it's just too hot over here for that and I realized when I was doing that because it is trendy when I woke up I was still applying product so I'm just honestly wasting product and doing the most and with jojoba oil it's so good for me for my skin i really love it for all things so it's a great sealant for the end of my routine and that's pretty much it you know if you want to massage your skin a little bit more you totally can but this is it in the morning all you need to do is mist your face with either warm water rose water or put a little aloe vera gel on your face it's in the morning you don't have to do much because you've already applied the products you have to let the products work and sometimes overnight they dry into your face so just wetting your face with warm water will bring back the elasticity the oils will kind of start to melt again and you're gonna get those results still without wasting product so that was it i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in my next one bye